Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the first hundred with the Saint Victor 556 from Springfield Armory. A few years ago, Springfield Armory brought to market their first AR-15 platform rifle, and it was called the Saint. And it's been in several different iterations. We had the Saint, we had the Saint Edge, and now we have the Saint Victor. Um, they are at sort of different tier levels or different equipment levels, if you will, the way they come and what they come with. I really like the way they've um, sort of optioned out this St. Victor. So I haven't shot it yet. I'm getting ready to do that right now. This will be the first hundred and then you'll probably see more of it down the road. I'm going to tell you what I think of it. I'm going to start out with the iron sights. These are flip up steel sights that do come with the rifle already mounted on it so it is ready to run right out of the box and just to warm up I've got a target 25 yards away I'm gonna see if these sights are on Okay, there's the first 10. I'm gonna go check my target and I'll be right back. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Uh, not, uh, not too bad at all for open sights and these old eyes. So I pasted up most of the holes except for the one or two that got into the orange dot. I'm gonna try it again, 10 more rounds, same distance, uh, same everything but I've moved the camera downrange on the target so we can watch the hits this time. All right. I'll try to hold just a wee bit higher. All right, there we go.
The sink gives us about six or so inches of good Picatinny up top, nice aluminum milled uh, and, and marked Picatinny rail. I have put an Aimpoint Pro on there and I've dialed it in because I can co-witness with the sights when they're flipped up, which is nice. I've dialed the Aimpoint in to be sitting right on top of that front post. So I should be in the ballpark for starters anyway. Okay, I got 10 more rounds to try at a new dot with the Aimpoint Pro. Let's see if it's on. All right, check those out. The St. Victor is chambered in 5.56 NATO, which means you can shoot 5.56 or 2.23 Remington. It has a 16 inch barrel with 1 in 8 rifling. Overall length, of course, depends on how you have the telescoping stock adjusted, but a minimum of 33 and a quarter to a maximum of 36 and three quarters is the length. It weighs under seven pounds at six pounds and 12 ounces, making it very light. Both the upper and lower receivers are forged T6 aluminum with a very nice hard coat anodized finish. Sights are provided with this rifle. They are the flip-up variety, spring-loaded and fully adjustable. Gas system is direct impingement with a mid-length gas block. One of the key features of the Springfield Armory Saint line is this nickel boron coated flat trigger. It's not just the trigger shoe that's visible that's nickel boron coated, but the entire trigger pack, all of the components including the springs. The handguard is free floating and full length and M lock compatible. The muzzle brake out on the end of the barrel is a Springfield Armory design, so that is a proprietary muzzle device. Okay, so this is called the St. Victor B5. So, what does the B5 stand for? Well, that is for B5 systems, and those are the components or the furniture that Springfield Armory has chosen to put on this rifle. What that includes is the stock, which is an enhanced SOP mod type of stock. It is adjustable for length. That includes the pistol grip, which is a Type 23 P grip from B5 Systems, and also the polymer trigger guard. All right, now that I know the sights are on, and now that I know my Aimpoint Pro is on, let me just have a little bit of fun. Let's shoot some rounds, talk about my impressions of the gun as I'm shooting it. So this is a uh, relatively new version of the St. Victor with uh, B5 furniture. So this is called the B5 version of the St. Victor. And that furniture includes the pistol grip and the collapsible stock And so far, I like them. I'll tell you what, as far as recoil goes, you know, the AR is not exactly a high recoil rifle anyway, but this thing, this, my, my aim point dot literally does not move between shots. That's how flat this thing shoots. 
a lot of that I think has to do with the muzzle brake that they've put on this thing. You got this long, very long and very small diameter free floating handguard. So you can grab it wherever you want and get the exact same hold, which I like. And it's made to accept M-Lock. You got M-Lock all the way up and down it. So you have good compatibility with aftermarket attachments. At first I wasn't sure I liked this stock because it's, it's very wide. Um, similar to stocks that I have on a couple of stag rifles. Uh, but it does give you a very, very comfortable cheek weld. And this trigger is my favorite. Starting to warm up a little now. I can feel a little heat there. Yeah, that gets her warm. That gets her warming up a little bit. Let me pull my hand back. It's already a hot enough day. I don't need that. The gun runs, I will tell you that, the gun runs. Mags drop free every time. The B5 is the latest variation of the Saint Victor from Springfield Armory. And what sets it apart from the other models is really just the B5 system's furniture. This includes the telescoping stock that has QD ports and traditional sling slots. That's easy to say. A nice rubber butt pad. And a wide and ergonomic cheek weld. The B5 Type 23 P-Grip is the component you're likely to notice first and most often. It has a steeper 1911 type grip angle and it's well textured for a firm hold. But after a couple hundred rounds of shooting I found it to be very loose and I wound up tightening it using the holding screw which was pretty loose. Even after tightening it feels slightly loose when holding the rifle by just the pistol grip with the trigger finger on the lower receiver. Time will tell if this is problematic or maybe just a once and done type of thing. Just in front of that B5 pistol grip is the B5 trigger guard. It's a small section of polymer at the bottom of the trigger guard and it is removable in case you need larger glove access. The shape of the guard already provides more space than normal so most users will appreciate that. The included flip up sights are of good quality and fully adjustable for windage and elevation. I found this set to be nearly perfect at short range and didn't make any adjustments. If desired, they can also be removed easily. The rear sight has two apertures, one for close targets and fast acquisition, and one for precision shots at more distance. The upper and lower receivers are forged 7075 T6 aluminum that is type 3 hard coat anodized. 
The upper receiver includes an integral case deflector and forward assist. The safety switch is ambidextrous. Everything else is basic mil spec. The bolt carrier is an enhanced M16 type. And the bolt itself is 9310 steel coated with melanite, which provides good protection as well as some natural lubricity. I know I keep talking about the trigger, but it really is kind of a focal point. The trigger is nickel boron coated and it is flat. The coating applies to not just the trigger face, the part you see, but all of the trigger group, and it greatly reduces the friction between the parts. The muzzle brake is a Springfield Armory designed part and it's very effective at keeping the rifle flat between shots. In this freeze frame you can actually see a good example of the hot gases being vented to either side of the muzzle. Some gas is also directed straight up. The rifle comes with one magazine, the industry standard Magpul PMAG Gen M3. Mine's a 30 rounder. Yours may vary depending on local and state laws. And as previously stated, the St. Victor is chambered in 5.56 NATO, which means it can fire that or 223 Remington. MSRP is $1,073. Expect to find it under $1,000 at the gun counter. Okay, I've pushed that target back as far as I can push it back today in the bay I'm working in. That's 35 yards. And for what I'm doing right now, that's good enough. This is a non-magnified optic, so let's try this aim point at 35 yards. And I'm gonna dial this dot down to the smallest dot I can get. Okay, check them out. All right, guys, a couple hundred rounds today for the very first look at the St. Victor 5.56. First look for me, I know the rifle's been around for a little while, and a lot of people have looked at it and featured it. This is my first time with it, and zero malfunctions. I shot all Federal ammo, for what that's worth. The B5 furniture is okay. I think it's... Uh, I would have to go back and forth side by side with, you know, Magpul furniture or some other stuff to see how I really like it in direct comparison. But for the purposes of all day shooting today, it's served well. Pistol grip seems good. It's a nice angle. It's got great texture on it. So I like that. But I think what I like most is this trigger. 
All of the internal parts of the trigger and hammer are nickel boron coated, including the springs. That makes it very, very smooth, and it makes it feel much lighter than it really is. Handguard is great. It's very, very small, so if I want to shoot thumbs over or I want to shoot fingers over, wherever I want to grab it, it feels the same. It does get warm. Of course, I'm standing in a hot sun on a hot day, so that itself is going to warm it up, but it certainly does get warm when you shoot it. Because it's so small, it is very close to the barrel, even though it's a free-floating handguard, so you're going to get a little heat coming off of that barrel once you get it aggravated. So wrapping it up here on a very hot day at the range again this is about 200 rounds through it ammo is hard to find and when you do it's expensive so that's all we're getting today thanks for watching See you soon.